Hello friends. Just wanted to show three things that I wish I knew earlier when I started playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And I'm by no means like actually any good at this game, but these are three things that I wish I'd known earlier. So the first one is if we look at the map here, you can see that I've got all these question marks like undiscovered locations all around me here. And if we send up our drone, our drone actually has like insane range here. So I can like start scanning these question marks way out there. And then once I've scanned them, then we can go back to the map and then you can see what kind of loot that you're going to get from it and what type of location it is. But I didn't realize the range on these drones was gigantic. So if we look at our map, then we can see all the ones that we just unlocked there and those are super far. So another thing, not really number two, but this is kind of like a one and a half. The thing that I wish I had known is as soon as you get access to a helicopter, you can fly to these pillars of smoke and unlock the bivouacs. And you don't have to land at them, you just have to get um, fairly close to the ground here. You'll see that just unlocked. And you can do this all over the map. And this will make playing through the story mission much faster. I was running from place to place and it stinks. The second thing that I wish I had known earlier is that any gear that you get that's higher level than what you're wearing, you should immediately equip. I was holding on to guns because I like the way that they handle or whatever, and not equipping the new guns that I was getting that were higher gear score. And the thing is you want to get your gear score up as quickly as possible because that determines which gear is going to drop for you. The tier levels are, um, you start out with white gear and then uh, at some point you started getting blue gear and then I think at level 70, gear level 70, I started getting purple gear and then at 95 or 100, uh, yellow. And the stats on the gear don't really make a difference until you get into the higher levels and the faster you can get your gear score up, the faster you'll start getting that gear. So the next thing that I wish I had known earlier is kind of related to the last one. And that's because you're trying to raise your gear score, then if you find a weapon that you really like and you want to use it, uh, you should try and find the blueprint for it. Because once you get the blueprint, you can go into the shop here, either at a bivouac uh, or at the actual shop, and then go to weapons on demand. And then anything you have a blueprint for, you can purchase from there. And it'll give you that gun and it'll be at the gear level you're at or just a little bit higher. So that way you can always be raising your gear score but using the, the gun that you really like. So related to blueprints, a lot of times you'll find the ones that you want are going to be at these behemoth sites uh, with the behemoth drones. And they'll be level 150 plus or 200 plus. But if you have the panther class, then you get a cloaking spray, which makes you undetectable by drones. So you can use it to sneak in, sneak out, and get these blueprints without having to take on these behemoth drones. So what you want to do with these is get fairly close, and then go ahead and use the spray. And you've got three uh, uses. And I think they last 60 seconds each. Oh, and don't fall off a mountain like this. So now this guy can't see us. So we're going to run up in the first level is always the uh, skill points. And then the second level is going to be your uh, blueprints. Move, go, 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 what are you doing? And then from this point, it really doesn't matter. If you were to die at this point, you would still have the blueprint and you would just respawn and you'd be fine. So that's it. Those are the three things that I'd wish I'd known earlier when I started playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. 
And if this was helpful at all, then I would really appreciate if you hit the like button. And also, if you have any other tips or things that you think I should know for beginning players, then leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching.